Welcome. Today we are multiplying by tens, hundreds, and thousands. This is the first week of multiplication, our second lesson. Let's get rocking. Today we're going to be answering the questions. How can I use a property of addition I know to help me multiply? And how can I use patterns to multiply numbers by tens, hundreds, and thousands? This is going to seem kind of random, just trust me. If you add 4 plus 3, will you get the same total as when you add 3 plus 4? Well, you've been doing that since you were young. And you know that 3 plus 4 will give you a total of 7. What if I did this? I grab this and put this over there. Is the total still 7? Yeah, it is. Because multiplication is repeated addition, it follows the same rules as addition. Let's take a look at this. We've got 2 taken 3 times is 6. There are 3 groups of 2. And together I have 6. But check this out. What if I group them differently? What if I did this? What if I said, oh, wait a minute, I got groups of three and two of those groups. Did I add or subtract anything? No. I still got six. So when I add and when I multiply, it doesn't really matter in which order, because I haven't changed the total. I haven't taken anything away, and I haven't added anything, too. That's got a name, and we'll talk about that later this week. Just stick that under your hat for now. So all that to say, let's take a look at a problem. 4 times 10. Well, you see groups of 4, and there are 10 groups of 4. And I can come here and I can count 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 36, 40. It's kind of a complicated process. We know that 10 groups of 4 will give me 40. But you know, if you flip that, it's a lot easier to figure out. Here, I did four groups of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40. Done. So sometimes when we want to multiply, we might find ways that are easier numbers to work with. I'd much rather work with four groups of 10 than 10 groups of 4. Here's another way of looking at multiplying by 10. Patterns are your friend. We know that 4 times 10 is 40, 6 times 10 is 60, 7 times 10 is 70, and 9 times 10 is 90. But what do you see going on with the numbers? Well, I'm seeing here's our 4, and here's a 0. 10 has one zero, 40 has one zero. Same thing here. Check it out. We've got a 6 and I've got a 10 because this says 6 tens and this says 6 tens. Uh-huh. You got the same thing going on. We've got 7 tens and 10 has one zero, does it not? Ah, now let's take a look at another one. What about 10 tens? Find a 10 times 10. Well, you already know that 10 tens is 100. So, yep, I'm just going to write my 10 and then add my 0 to the back like I've been doing with the others. Patterns are still your friend. This time, instead of multiplying times 10, we're multiplying times 100. So, here is my 2 and 2 times 100. 2 times 100 is 200. There's my 2. Two zeros. Well, two zeros. Three times one hundred is three hundreds. Eight times one hundred is eight hundreds. I've got the initial number here. Same number of zeros in my problem as in my answer. And then eight times a hundred is also eight hundreds. What if we went even bigger? How's that going to change the pattern? Well, five one thousands is 5,000. 
seven one thousands is seven thousand and nine one thousands is nine thousand and again I'm looking at there's my original number this time I've got three zeros my answer also has three zeros and you'll see that pattern continuing in the next two examples so now I'm gonna have you on your own generalize this into a rule write it in your notebook you'll need to stop the video in just a second in order to do that but take a look at the pattern six times ten is sixty six tens is sixty six times one hundred is six hundred six hundreds six times a thousand is six thousand or six thousands make up a rule for what's going on and you're going to drop that into your notebook and we'll pick up with that tomorrow so what did we learn today well we learned how you can use a property of addition to help you multiply that two plus three is the same as three plus two and that two times three will give you the same total as three times two how can I use patterns to multiply numbers by tens, hundreds, and thousands? You just wrote a rule for that in your notebook. If you have questions about the questions, jot them down and we will deal with that tomorrow.